Hello again, Dan here for another cassette community video. Um, I have an, another neat and inexpensive stack of cassettes that I picked up um, over the last week or two, and uh, I would love to show them to you. First off, a couple of the uh, most interesting ones that I've picked up. Two by West Montgomery, uh, Tequila and Bumpin'. Um, and these are interesting cases. They're black plastic clamshell cases with uh, glued on cover. As you can see, it's fading a little bit. Um, but uh, these are great albums and they sound pretty good. I'm assuming they're like late 60s pressings and they're only a dollar each. And I really enjoyed them. So those are nice to find. Um, I, this is the only. Uh, Amazon purchase. Th this is a uh, fuel. It's called Sunburn, uh, and I really dug this album when it came out in uh, 1998. And uh, I saw Lunacy. He was shooting a video, and he had this playing in the background on vinyl, and I was kind of jealous of that. I didn't know it was on vinyl, and I looked it up, and the cheapest one I could find was 30 bucks. And I thought it would be nice, but I shouldn't be spending that much money. So I found a cassette for like five, so that was pretty cool. And that was sealed. Um, I found another quicksand cassette. This is Slip. I actually showed the uh, record, the recent uh, repressing of this. And uh, that's, uh, you know, fantastic, but this was only a dollar, so I wasn't going to pass that up. Um, great album. <coughs> I just listened to this one last night. This is awesome. Uh, Arrested Development. Um, three years, five months, and two days in the life of. And uh, this has that single Tennessee, which is a really great track from the 90s. Um, the, I believe the first live album, Mental Jewelry. This is also a dollar. So I have pretty much all the live albums that I'll want on tape. Uh, Seven Mary Three. Rock Crown. Um, I don't know what the single is on this, but I know there was one. It's from 1997. They were pretty popular back then. Actually, reminds me of um, about six years ago, that band that I, I worked with, Cat Fly. We did a show locally that was uh, kind of a festival. Uh, Everclear was headlining, and Seven Mary Three played as well, and uh, it was a really disappointing turnout. They were expecting like 2,000 people, and I think there was like three or 400. Uh, and I know those bands got paid quite a bit of money to show up, so it was cool to see them. Everclear was terrible; they're terrible live band. Uh, they sounded like a high school band during their sound check. I was, I was really surprised. Seven Mary Three were great, though. It was cool to see them. Uh, the Breakfast Club soundtrack. Absolutely picked that up. Um, this one was cool. Uh, Spin Doctors, Pocket Full of Kryptonite, which has those two singles that were huge in the early 90s. I would like to find that on vinyl, but that's pretty expensive, and I think it was mostly uh, foreign pressing to that. Counting Crows, August and Everything After their most popular album, of course. And that's getting a uh, uh, quality record pressings 45 RPM release here pretty soon, so if you really dig that album and you want it on vinyl, uh, there's a quality remaster of it coming up. I'm not going to buy it, it's like 50 bucks. Uh, Enya, the Celts, I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, this must be your first album. I've never even seen it before, but it's from the mid 80s. I'm sure it sounds just like all our other stuff, but I enjoy that from time to time. Same with this Enigma um, to the Cross of Changes, and this has um, Return to Innocence, which is an awesome, awesome song. Uh, London Beat, In the Blood. I don't know how well you can see these covers, they're pretty small. Uh, but I've been thinking about you, another huge hit in the 90s. Robin Williams, A Night at the Met, comedy album from 86. 
good stuff on there. It's pretty funny. This is a License to Drive soundtrack. That was pretty neat to find. I love this movie. Um, classic 80s comedy with the two Corys. Um, and this has some popular songs. Uh, a lot of them are car related. Uh, like Billy Ocean, Get Out of My Dreams. And finally, uh, R.E.M., Life's Rich Pageant. Which is an early 80s, I think. 86. I didn't see this till afterwards, but it's a uh, Columbia House pressing. But it looked exactly, there was two copies, and they looked exactly the same, but this one was in better condition. I'm not really sure what the disadvantages or advantages are of uh, record club cassette pressings. Uh, but that'll do it. Hopefully that was pretty quick. And, uh, and I have a big stack of cassettes to listen to. I usually listen to one cassette per every, I don't know, six, seven albums that I listen to. But uh, I've been buying a lot of them recently, and uh, it's probably 25 that I still need to listen to of the ones that I've been picking up. So I should get on that. <clears throat> but uh, like I said before, there's uh, another vinyl update coming with some really great stuff. Um, a couple of pieces that should arrive here shortly. And uh, I'll be back with that when they do arrive. And until then, take care and of course, enjoy your music. <laughs>